Hello everyone. I am deeply honored to share my own story with you. A journey that has taken me from a painful memories of childhood bullying and discrimination to the fulfillment of a lifelong dream, the creation of a non-discriminatory world. In my childhood, I had problems with communication, socialization, and interaction. It led me to experience the torment of bullying. It seemed like an endless cycle of pain and isolation. I even had my first thought of taking my own life when I was eight. When I was 13, I found my first friend, Tia, and had a big crush on her best friend, Tika, who soon became my girlfriend. but it didn't last long. In September 2009, there was a big earthquake in Padang, Indonesia. I lost my best friend Tia, while my girlfriend Tika spent three months in a coma and suffered with several amputations in both of her legs. I asked Tika to stay awake, and I promised that I will stand by her regardless of her disability. Because I know it hurts for having no friends. But then, I lost Tika too. This was the turning point of my life. I promised Tika to support those with disabilities and create a better world free from discrimination and bullying. I turned my pain into purpose and my experience into empathy. Over the last decade, it has been my mission to address disability holistically from the start of a child's life to when they enter the professional world. My work started in 2014 with Putra Kami Foundation by providing over 2,000 disabled children with access to an affordable education from kindergarten to high school. I then built the Tam Tam Therapy Center to address the well-being of children facing development challenges. The center has emerged as a beacon of hope for them and their families. Our mission is clear and heartwarming. To empower children with disabilities through affordable occupational, behavioral, and speech therapy services. And within a few months of launching, we reach over 30 million people online. And to tackle employment barriers, I built Para Kerja, whose mission is simple yet profound, to fight for bullying and discrimination for people with disabilities in the working environment and bridge the gap between talent and opportunity for people with disabilities. And Parakerja is the first digital platform where people can learn Indonesian Sign Language directly from deaf individuals and has enabled over 42,000 people across the country to improve communication between deaf and hearing individuals in the workplace. We were recognized as one of the top startups in Asia because of how instrumental we have been in advocating for inclusive hiring practices and providing employers training across the country. My story serves as a powerful reminder that through innovation, determination, and collaboration, we can create a society where disability is not a limitation, but a source of strength. I myself need to use a wheelchair on and off because of a hidden disability. And my personal experience is a testament to the collective power of compassion and determination. Through my work, I have had the privilege of witnessing incredible transformation in people's life at all stages. It is a reminder that each of us, 
regardless of our past, has the potential to be a force for good. We can all build a more equal and accessible world, free from discrimination and bullying. Let us carry forward the torch of change for Tika, for Tia, and countless others. Thank you.